now, live, this is CBS 4 News at 5. Well, May is National Stroke Month, and once again, CBS 4 News has teamed up with the American Stroke Association to bring you Stroke Alert. Yes, CBS 4's Dr. Sean Kniff is here to tell us about a new device now that is helping some stroke victims get their lives back in focus, you could say, Sean. That's right, Beatrice. Because our eyes transmit visual signals to the back of our brains, strokes and other forms of brain injury often affect eyesight. We used to think a lot of that damage was permanent, but now a new therapy called NovaVision is producing some eye-opening results. After Paul Dunn suffered a stroke-like condition, he had some big problems with his vision. I enjoy doing crosswords and uh, Sudoku and things like that, and if you can't read, it's very difficult on you. In fact, eyesight is often affected with stroke because our brains interpret vision from the back of the brain. Oftentimes, people with stroke or other traumatic brain injuries suffer from something called a hemianopsia, where they lose vision in half of their visual field. Imagine a world where you can see only half of everything. That's their reality, and it's frustrating. But a new treatment called NovaVision is bringing new hope. NovaVision therapy uses a moving point on a computer screen, and as the patient tracks it, it stimulates healthy vision areas and retrains troubled areas. It's allowing us to open up that visual field where before they thought that wasn't possible. Stacy Williams, an occupational therapist at Health South, says even modest gains of 2 to 3 percent can make a world of difference, and over time, it measures the degree of recovery. It also allows the therapist to see on a month-to-month -month basis how well they're progressing. For Paul, NovaVision has literally brought his world back into focus. It has brought my life back into perspective, and that's the main thing. Now remember, along with slurred speech, sudden weakness and numbness, sudden changes in your vision are one of the cardinal signs of having a stroke. So if you're experiencing anything like that, please go immediately to the hospital. If you're interested in learning more about your risk of stroke, you can go to our website, cbs4.com, and just click on health. Dr. Shonkin of CBS4 News. All right, thank you, doctor.